EPI has been documenting the growing teacher pay gap for decades. This chart has the pay penalty over time. And what the teacher pay penalty shows is how much less teachers make relative to other workers with the same characteristics. So in economist speak, it's like controlling for level of education, age, gender, geography, and on and on. How much less do teachers make than their peers? That penalty was large in 1979 at 7.1%, as you can see from the figure, but it more than tripled to 23.5% over the following four plus decades. So young people who may have gone into teaching knowing they would make just 7% less than their peers may understandably be unlikely to go into teaching when they know they will make 23.5% less than their peers. And then the problem is also poised to get worse if nothing has changed, because there's been a large drop in the number of people completing teacher preparation programs over the last 15 years. So we're gonna move on to what can be done about this. I'll say a couple of things. In the short run, I mentioned this COVID relief, federal relief and recovery funds, which include a substantial amount of aid to states and localities, can and should be used right now to raise pay for teachers and other education staff so that schools can attract and retain the staff that they need. And then in the longer run, we need to do things like change school funding so that among other things, teachers and other education staff can be paid fairly. Public sector collective bargaining should be expanded in places where it's restricted because unions work for higher job quality for teachers and for adequate school resources so teachers can teach effectively and on and on. And with that, I'm now gonna turn it over to the experts to really dig in on these, these this and other things.